her work, but this is the UK's big hope at Eurovision. Molly Smitten Downs, singing Children of the Universe. And it seems some of the universe have indeed been wowed. Today, Molly became the third favourite to win tomorrow night in Copenhagen. Saying that, it has been nearly 20 years since Britain brought home the Eurovision. Perfect life. Former UK contestant Nikki French knows how it feels to lose out. She came 16th in 2000 with Don't Play That Song Again, not my opinion, but the actual name of that entry. Reminding me of how it used to be. She's still singing and had these reassuring words for Molly. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine. <laughs> Honest, you'll be fine. <laughs> what should she do? Top tips. Drink lots of hot water. Before. Really? Oh, my goodness. I spoke to her before she went over to, to do this. And I said, the one thing you've got to be aware of is you will use your voice like never before. That I am over you. Although standing in the UK's way are the contest favourites. Sweden, who, as you can see, take this very seriously indeed. From the fading light of life. Right. Expect a standout performance from Austria's Conchita, the artist formerly known as Tom Neuwirth, has been affectionately named the Bearded Lady. In fact, facial hair has become quite the theme. France's entry appears to be an ode to moustaches. The man who won't be defeated is the ultimate superfan. Dr Eurovision or just Paul to his friends. As you can see from his T-shirt, he's Team Molly. We've got the best chance of winning Eurovision than we've had in a long time. Molly's done really well in all the rehearsals. She's got a great voice and she can deliver. Perhaps also in Molly's favour, she'll be performing last on the night leaving her fresh in voters' minds and hopefully far away from any nasty new one. Famous last words. Minnie Stevenson, five years.